Good morning. So, just a little recap from uh, last night. I didn't actually go out in the end. I think I went and got a little bite to eat and then I came back and kind of just chatted with a few people and went to bed. And uh, I woke up about three in the morning. This is jet lag for you. And uh, just ended up sat video editing for about two hours. And then I went back to bed. I've just woken up again and it's nine in the morning. So uh, I've just had a shower. Um, my plan is I'm gonna go and see this park. I'll put it in a, I'll show you on the maps now where I am and where this park is. And maybe head down to Terminal 21 because everyone talks about it being super cheap and being really great food. Um, just enjoy it, get used to the area. Like, have a look, it's just like one straight road from where I am. Um, have a walk around there, find some lunch and go from there really. Um, there's loads of places I wanna, things I wanna see and do, but Today I'm just kind of going to take it at my own pace because I have the luxury of time um, and I'm still not 100% so but today's going to be a good day, the weather is beautiful, it is hot. One other thing I'm going to do today is try and find a handle and maybe a media management thing for my phone as I said yesterday my other one's bust which means I have to hold my camera which is going to make it a bit shakier and I just and also it means I can't attach a proper microphone, so I apologize if the audio quality is a little bit lower today. Um, like I say, hopefully I'll have some replacement by the end of the day. Um, if not, I'm definitely gonna have to find something tomorrow. <laughs> So I won't butcher it, <laughs> the pronunciation of it. But what I'll do is um, I'll show you on the maps where I actually am at, um, and uh, you can get an idea of where I am. Um, one thing I've underestimated though, and I always do this when I come abroad, is I forget how hot it is compared to my home country, and you get very excited. You just end up walking for miles and miles and miles, and you don't realise how hot it gets, and like how much water you need to drink. I mean, so. You're just not used to it. The heat here is easily double the temperatures I'm used to. And when you're walking in it, as excitement, as excited as you are about exploring place, I think you need to be a bit more careful as well about how much you drink. I'm already like right, through three bottles of water now, and if I'm honest, I never really drank enough at home anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's one thing to bear in mind that obviously if you're coming from something like the UK, it is a lot hotter here. So yeah, we're going to go and um, walk around this park now, and uh, it looks, it's really nice. It's actually a nice stopping point. Um, before I get something to eat this morning. Um, I had breakfast in my hostel, and what I tend to do is when I book my hostels, to save a bit of money, I try and find those ones with breakfast included. Actually strolling through this park and I see like two people just feeding what I thought was fish at first. <laughs> but they have turtles in the park. Now, you know, that might not seem a lot to some people, you know, that's awesome. So there's like just turtles everywhere, just people are just feeding them bread, pigeons everywhere, so they're trying to get them on the ants from as well.
just about to leave this park and uh, I realised that you could actually just buy basically half a bit of bread and just feed these guys. So I started feeding these the turtles and uh, there's fish in here that are popping up and I've made a few friends as well, it seems. Hey, how guys? How you all doing? We're surrounded. Surrounded being mobbed. Well, it's just as well, really, that they gave me half a loaf because, uh, hey, look, this guy's here now as well. Hey, dude. Come on, there's another one over there. I feel like a Disney character at the moment being surrounded by animals. Yeah, I couldn't resist feeding them. I absolutely love turtles, so I thought, why not? And it was like 30 baht or something for like a bit of bread to feed them. And I haven't actually spent anything today, and it's already midday, so I thought, you know what? Instead of treating myself, I'm going to treat the turtles. Um, and the pigeons, apparently. And the fish, apparently. Yes, from there, I finally found a Terminal 21. It wasn't exactly uh, hard to mix, it was huge. And like, I've seen other people, um, I've seen other people like talk about going there for food and it is cheap. I think all that you saw there cost me like, I don't know, like two and a half dollars or something. It's ridiculously cheap. Um, I hope I'm going the right way. I hope this isn't a dead end. <laughs> oh man, Google Maps sucks. All right, cool. So I showed, I got some footage of London as well. Yeah, the food was all right. I mean, you're not paying top dollar for it, so you probably expect top dollar food. But it was it was good food, you know? Um, but yeah, so now I've had something to eat and had a big drink, I feel quite refreshed. If you ever do go to Temple 21, um, the food is on the top floor, Pier 21. So what you need to do is there's these uh, kiosks that have um, coupons written above them. You need to go up to them and hand them cash and any fat or well, any money you hand them, they'll put on a card for you. And then you use that card in all the different stalls around, you know, the top floor. There'll be a symbol that shows you the card. And then you just pick whatever you want. They charge it and take it off the card. And then when you're done, you can either keep your card and come back at another time, or you can literally just go up to the same place you paid cash to get the coupon and they'll refund you whatever's left on your card. And sometimes it's a good way to break down your notes as well. Um, speaking of which, if you do get a thousand bat notes, just um, break them down in like a 7-Eleven or something, they'll take anything. I saw some guy buy a like 20 baht bottle of water and uh, he gave them a thousand, they didn't even blink. Now you see, this is exactly why I love just walking around the city.
So we're finally back after so much walking, but it was worth it. Uh, it's been fantastic today just to get out, stretch my legs, go and see all those cool parks. And the best part of it was it didn't really cost me anything today, um, but I was parched and I walked past the bar that was spraying mist on the tables. So it was so cool. It was like, it was super cold and I couldn't resist. So I went in and bought, a, had a pint, a singer, and that cost me 160 baht. To put that in context, that's what I spent on my entire two dish dinner with a drink. But you know, you were paying for the, the mist as well, keeping you cool. Um, so this place is really catered for all kinds of budgets, but if you're not careful, you can end up having something that could quite literally blow your budget. You know, And these, these two places we're talking about were maybe five minutes apart. Um, so it's not just based on like an area, one area being more expensive than the other. It's just, it's from shop to shop. Um, anyway, that said, because I've spent so little tonight, I'm feeling, I'm in a good mood and I'm going to go down to the night market. There's a, well, there's supposedly a night market. I'm looking at Google Maps it's called the At Arong Night Market. We'll see, uh, see if we can get some food because I'm starving and I could do for a drink as well. I managed to come back to the hostel and pass out for like an hour on the sofa just to recover my energy from a long day of walking around in the heat. Um, I actually think going forward it might be a better idea to stay chilled out indoors in the afternoon or somewhere, you know, that doesn't require walking around and then go out earlier and or in the evening just to avoid all that heat. Um, I have actually booked my next uh, hostel. I'm going from the Sukhumvit area in um, Bangkok on the eastern side of Bangkok to the western side of Bangkok. I'm going to Khao San now, which you've probably heard of. It's the more popular tourist spot with the infamous Khao San Road um, because the weekend's coming up. So I'm here tonight on Friday night, but um, I'm going to spend the weekend there. And then after that, I'm going to decide how long I really want to stay in Bangkok um, before I head south to eventually get to the point where I can get the ferry across to Koh Samoy. And we'll go from there. But uh, in the meantime, let's go get some decent food and hopefully uh, some life to the place and uh, yeah. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. It means so much to me. Um, I'm hoping to keep the pace up. Uh, it depends, some days aren't quite as busy as others, but I'm gonna keep the content up. Um, I understand it's a little bit raw because I am new to this, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me and I'll see you in the next one.